I hear a train in the distance. You know how we are with the trains. Every time we go to a cemetery, the trains find us. All right, let's see if we get some folks to join us here today. It's a very quiet and gray, a little bit rainy day. I don't think it's going to rain on us, but we are going to go for a walk, a mystical walk, and look at some gravestones. Jackie Brocher, I think you're first up here. Hey, Dawn, what's going on? Let a few people join us. Angelique Reigman, or Regman, how you doing? Lynn? Hey, it's Britton is here. Mr. Hockey Mask, Mr. Jason. What's up, Britton? How you doing? Britton and I have a little show tonight that we're gonna be putting on. That was fun. Alice is here, Kimberly. Kimberly, I thought you were taking some time off. What's going on? You guys ready for a little walk? Britton, you just got off work? Cool, cool, cool. We're gonna see somebody interesting today. Somebody actually did a, included in an episode that I did when I first started the channel, and it relates to the mob. Here we call it the Chicago Outfit. Somebody really interesting. We're gonna walk by her grave. Let a few more people come on. Denise, knock, knock. <laughs> Jody, Wendy, Winnie. Oh, Mets fans are in town where the Cubs playing the Mets. You know, my son lives down there in Wrigleyville. I'll bet they're probably, they were probably at the game. All right, let's get the show on the road here, guys. We're right by the train tracks. We're in the north west suburbs. Well, I should say we're still inside Chicago here. We're not in the suburbs, but we're at a Greek a Greek cemetery. So let me uh, flip things around here so you can see what's going on. And there are a lot of pictures at this cemetery. And good to have you. Glad you made a a live stream it's hot in arkansas oh do i have a story in arkansas of course i'll be probably going through texas and arkansas arkansas this winter as i head down to the coast maybe a little new orleans but i will end up in florida looks like it's not raining there but well it's it's close to raining i haven't checked radar in the last hour but i think we're going to be okay we're at a primarily Greek cemetery, guys. And there are some Eastern Europeans here. Looks like Polish, Czech, but mostly Greek. Dawn, where are you at? It's raining. We'll have a look at a few pictures. We always like the pictures. Now these look like new ones, new ovals of old pictures. Hello, Nicole, uh, Nicole from Cincinnati, how are you? How are you? What's going on, you guys? Did you guys have a good week? Enjoying the weekend? Wolf, Wolf Woman and Lizzie, thanks for the money. We're right by the train tracks. Actually, a couple of trains just went by. Oh, we've got a lot of pictures here, guys. Hello from England, Angela. How are you? Good to see ya. Wendy says it's too hot. It's a handsome guy, Thomas. Hey, Danny. Is that Danny Danny? There's a Danny Carlson. Oh, Denny, I was gonna say my son's name's Danny. He wouldn't be calling me Ron. He'd be saying, hey, dad, but he doesn't show up here. <laughs> like I say, he's having too much fun doing other things. Angie says it's very hot in the UK. Yeah, we've actually had a pretty good summer so far. I can't really complain. I mean, we have had some, we always get some, we always get the humidity here. 90 in Oneida, New York, waiting for the storm. Yeah, I don't mind the heat. It's the humidity that just drives me nuts. Cannot stand the humidity. What about you guys? 
That's why I want to end up in Arizona for the winters. 105 in Vegas, I'll take it. No humidity, right? Allison has Slavic. All right, let's look under these. I always like to see, oh, these, that one's frozen. This one's not. Oh, maybe this one goes sideways. Oh, that's a beautiful picture. It reminds me of the woman from Bewitched. Not to, uh, you know, I want to be respectful, but sometimes people look like people, they remind you of people. The sky here in Indiana is all white. Thunderstorm. Christine Lover says. There's a bit of humidity in Vegas because we just had, oh, it's monsoon season, right? Is it monsoon season? Monsoon, mon, uh, uh, tongue twister. Monsoon, mons, <laughs> I still can't say it. Wendy, you're Ukrainian? We have some Ukrainian here. I don't know if we'll, there are some graves. Monsoon season. Why should that be a tongue twister? High humidity in Georgia. Yeah, I've been hearing about Georgia, you guys. I hear it is hot and humid in Georgia. Where should we go? You wanna go this way? There was one grave I saw. I was scouting out a little bit here. There's a girl. Monsoon, Sandra says, that's right. It just means more humidity. Well, it's probably not bad. I mean, you need the rain, especially Arizona. Gotta get the rain. There was a bride I saw in here. Oh, look at this picture. Wow, Edith. This one I didn't see. She looks beautiful. She passed, well, it says June 1956. I don't know if that means she's still alive. So if you are, I'm sorry I showed your birthday, but what a picture. Movie star. Huh? Hello, Pam, how are you? Tom's talking backwards. Awesome. Spelling monsoon backwards. Probably easier for me to say. Look at that. Yeah, she kind of looked like Marilyn Monroe. And we're actually going to talk about Marilyn Monroe today. And I'll bet you'll never guess how we're going to tie that in. No, this is not the cemetery where Cookie Cuffsonant is. It's a Marilyn Monroe tie in there. No, we're not going to talk about her today. How are you doing today, Jody Beard said? I'm doing great. I am all set for my trip next week to the East Coast, Upper East Coast. As I've been saying, I've been, I have 17 stories. I'm pretty loaded, guys, from all the suggestions that you've been giving me for the last few months. And I'm gonna be going to Maine, Vermont, Massachusetts, New Hampshire, Rhode Island. I'm gonna be getting down in Connecticut of course, Massachusetts, Cape Cod, all of it, all of it, that whole area. I'm gonna, I'm gonna be hitting it really hard. Here's the, here's the one I wanted to show you that I had seen before. I've got 17 stories. I've got, I'm gonna be there about two weeks, maybe two and a half weeks. Now, is that a beautiful picture? And 1925 to 1954. So, I'm not sure. I can't translate but maybe somebody can, E-N-O-A-A-E, -A -A -E, it looks like, Mapia. Is that a beautiful picture or what? I'm trying to hold this gimbal as still as I can. It does not have a stabilizer. I'm using my phone, of course. T-length dress, Sandra says. I never heard that before, T-length? Donna says, love to see you in North Carolina. Yeah, I have done, I'm looking to do some stuff maybe in the winter. I'm, I'm gonna be spending more time in Florida this time. Witch trials, no, I'm not. I have two witch stories. 
but I stay away from Salem and all. I don't want to do that stuff. Everybody's done, and they're not even buried there. They're, it's just an epitaph for all the Salem witch stuff. It doesn't interest me. I mean, the story interests me, but it doesn't interest me to do a YouTube on it because it's like Lizzie Borden. It's been done so much, so many times. Now look at this. This is a beautiful, now this, there's a story here. I don't know what the story is, but I can tell you we have Nicholas who passed in 1953 and we have Harriet who passed in 2005. They were both born in 1922. She was born a little bit after him. And what a beautiful wedding picture. And I think the story that I'm, I'm thinking here is, again, he passed in 53. They're both buried here. And she waited until 2005 to be reunited. And I'm guessing Harriet did not get remarried. So what's that from 1953? That's over 50 years, guys. She waited over 50 years to be reunited with Nicholas. How amazing is that? Isn't that, that's gotta be a great story. Gotta be a great story behind that. You know, and that's the thing. Look at, you look out here and all of these stones have stories and we'll just never know. We'll never know what they are. It's a history book. That's why we love cemeteries, because we are walking through history, pages of history. All right? Yeah, nice looking couple. I agree. Shauna Riley says, breaks my heart. She lived without him for so long. Yeah, can you imagine how many years? 52, 53 years. And but they're reunited. If you believe in the afterlife, and the, if you believe in the afterlife, which I'm like in between on, you know, I just don't know. I want to believe it. I'm like halfway there. And that makes death scary. If you don't believe in the afterlife, if you don't believe in some God, then it, I think it makes death really scary. Because then if that, then the lights just go out and that would really suck. And what's the purpose of being here? So there's gotta be a God, right? Still trying to convince myself. Still on that journey of discovery. Lots of pictures, guys. Angela, thanks for the two bucks. Thank you so much. Yeah, another beautiful wedding picture. I'm just, look, you know, I'm just gonna, just keep looking at stuff here. Are there any graves in Chicago of the Great Fire? You know, that's a good question. Britain, why don't you weigh in on that? Britain would know. Like they would be at Rose Hill, maybe at Graceland. Now when the Chicago fire happened, the old cemetery was down by the lake and a lot of those people ended up at Graceland and most, a lot of them ended up at Rose Hill. So I would believe at Rose Hill, but Britain might know. S and C, three bucks, thank you. Britain would know, but yeah, I'm sure there are, but those are really old, old graves. Look at this. Now these are immigrants, looks like 1880s. Wow, 1880s, that's going back. Here's an old one here. Those trees have been there a long time. Yeah, I'm in the older section of the cemetery. And this guy, Harry, 89 to 1927. I, I like going to the older parts of the cemetery because, you know, the older graves and the stories, but also there's no usually no people around. I don't like to intrude on people doing 
you know, there's people here at the cemetery today, but they're more in the newer section, of course. You know, I always say the first generation back comes in lots of flowers. The second generation still visits, and by the third generation, they're practically forgotten. And by the fourth generation, they are, in most cases, not all cases, totally forgotten. Boy, this reminds me a little of Mount Carmel. I haven't been in this section of the cemetery, but there are more pictures than I thought. Angela has a story. Well, send it to me on email. I'm pretty loaded up for stories for my trip, so I'm leaving Wednesday. And I'll be there till I think August 6th or 7th. Then I'll be coming back. Then I will be coming back. This fall, I think I'm gonna hit like Montana, I think, I'm hoping. Oh, look at, here's, here's a beautiful, oh, look at this, guys. What a mesmerizing picture this is. Panos, daughter Frances, 1928 to 1943. She did not, uh, well, 28, 30, 40. Wow, very young, or is that daughter Helen? Thanks, Waco Flyer, five bucks. Look at this picture, guys. Hopefully the picture's coming in clear. I've got good, good bars. By the way, Waco, Waco is a type of airplane. There was a flight shop I used to go to to get parts for my airplanes. And it was named that. It had a little grass strip next to it. I think it was up in Wisconsin just across the border. Boy, we got a great day, guys, here. It is, it is really, really calm. No wind, nobody around, and lots of pictures. Yeah. So tonight, we've got a really good episode tonight with Britain. We were on the north side of Chicago, gonna tell a 1920 story, the premiere tonight of Ruth Anna Wanderer and the Ragged Stranger. I've been wanting to do this for two years and Britain, thank you, had has access not only to the theater just before this incident happened because they went to watch a movie. It's kind of like Dillinger, you know, the biograph, but this is at the, what was called the Pershing and now it's the Davis 30, uh, Theater in Germantown. So they were at the theater, I'm not gonna tell the story, but then they ended up walking five blocks north to the house Thank you, Wendy, for the 10 bucks. And they ended up, um, we end up going to tonight, we go to the apartment, we got access inside where this all happened. And it is a crazy story. It's one of the most infamous stories in the roaring 20s. You know, we did that story on Stop, Stapa. Remember uh, the Stapa story? She's at Bohemian National, the murderess. She was a, uh, a flapper, what was her first name? Can't remember. Anyway, a lot of stuff happened in the 20s, all over New York, all over the country. Let's go this way. Just kind of keeping my eyes open for stuff. Giannis, looks like immigrants. You have a new haircut. Thank you. Oh, I just got a haircut this morning because you know, I gotta be on this trip for three weeks and I gotta like cut it really short because I don't wanna fool around with barbers. I don't use a barber anyway, I do it myself. I think I told you guys I cut my own hair because I just don't have time to sit in some chair. 20 bucks from Sandy, thank you. That is very generous of you. I just don't have the time ever since I was a uh, college. Kathy with the five bucks, thank you. Jen X, Uncle Key, first live stream, great to have you. Great to have, We've, we're getting lots of subscribers, man. It's really cool to see this channel grow. Like I said, just past our two year, what's today? Our two year anniversary was July 15th, 2020. Never would have predicted that we'd be like where we're at. By the way, shout out to Ashley. Shout out to Ashley with the fa uh, Face of the Forgotten Facebook. Ashley is 
really cranking on that group Facebook page. Great place to share pictures. And what she just passed me because I had more Instagram followers than she did. And now she has more Facebook followers than I do in our group. Our exclusive group, you have to join. You can't just like go in there. You gotta get past Ashley. But Ashley's pretty cool. She'll let you in if you're genuine. Look at that stash, guys. So I'm gonna shout out my Instagram because especially next week, starting next week, if you wanna see what's happening on the road in like Maine and Vermont, Connecticut, Rhode Island, cool places. I'm going to be doing lots of, I want to do lots of videos. I'm going to try short videos on my Instagram. I mean, oh boy, we've got a jet coming right over. Let that jet pass here. Good evening, forgotten faces. Yeah, Wendy. I mean, we're right by O'Hare Airport, actually. Oh, we got a We've got a veteran here. Looks like World War One. What would you guys say that? What would you say that is? World War One or Spanish American War? Well, 1899, 1936. That's World War One, right? The whole family here. Yeah, that's not resting peacefully. I agree. Yeah, it's World War One. That's what I thought. You guys agree? Now, oh, here's a quick shot of a little couple. Am I going to Louisiana? I may be. Yeah, I think this winter, you know, winter I go south. And I think I will be. I think I'm going to hit Texas, Louisiana, you know, and then head eastbound. I got one story in Arkansas, guys, that I've got to do. So I got to find a way to pop up to central Arkansas. It's gonna be way out of the way, but it's a story that you never could have imagined. A people story, a person story, actually a family story that is just amazing. Look at that hat, those old hats, right? The Dillinger days, the 1920s. I think the Roaring Twenties in Chicago, New York, man, those were, those were just amazing times, huh? We are walking, actually, just to give you a heads up, we're, we're walking to a chapel, and I think hopefully no one will be in there. We can go inside. It's Greek, you know, this is like the Greek area. I think a lot of the cemetery is Greek. Bathtub gin. Central Arkansas is where Clark lives. Arkansas is a great state. Remember, I, I said last year when I did a few episodes coming through, I said way underrated. How is Chicago O'Hare? Chicago O'Hare is noisy. Let me tell you, look at this bench up here. Look at this bench with an interesting picture I can see from here. It's something different. Frida, we're gonna sit on the bench for a minute. What do you guys say? Amanda Panda, how you doing up there in Washington State? I know, man, that's so out of the way though. I mean, it's on my list, I've got stories there. This is Frida, 1875 to 1937 now, isn't Frida, wasn't she a hoot? Look at that, look at that dress. I have to say, I've never seen anything like that. How about a little close up on her? It's hard to hold this gimbal. This gimbal does not have a stabilizer. Sorry, guys. All right, we'll get up from the bench and we'll see who else we can find here. A lot of interesting faces. Hey, John, what's going on? You've been with uh, a year and a half with us? One of our faithful? Yeah. I know, I see you. I see your comments every time, thank you. We've got a lot of faithful folks here in our group, our gang. That's what makes us really fun. Oh, I feel a little bit of rain. Come on, rain. Let's, uh, let's just look behind these. 
I'm always curious. This is father. See, a lot of these people are immigrants, guys. Let me try and get an angle on this. Here we go. Isn't it amazing how clear these pictures are? It's like a time machine. Died in 1944, a year before World War II is over. Funny, I always use World War II as a prep, a preference, a reference. 1874 to 1944. You know, they both died in 44. I wonder what happened. Thank you, Susanna, for the five bucks. Appreciate it. That's a really clear picture, huh? So how I think I have five bars. You guys should be you guys should be seeing all this with me. There's a car parked over by the chapel. Well, we can walk in there. I just maybe if someone's in there, I'll go in there and we just I'll just be well, if somebody's praying, I'm not going to go in there, but if they're just kind of hanging out, then we'll just go in there. We'll see here. 1918 to 1937, this young man. Have you done Billy the Kid's grave? No, I'm not doing that. And Bell, uh, Bell Star, my friend Reddy did that. Thanks, Fran, for the nine bucks. I'm not doing stuff that everybody's done already on YouTube. What can I add? I have nothing to add, and it's not intriguing for me to do it, I have to tell you. But good suggestions. I try, I'm trying these days especially to do more of the untold stories. More of the untold stories. It's a veteran. And look, he's got, uh, Anthony has like a little, it's gotta be his father. Yeah, he passed in 1933. Oh, he must've been killed in war. So we have Corman, uh, 305th bomb, SOD it looks like, US Army Air Force. Oops, sorry, let me get. Uh, and let's see if we can read this. I'm gonna try to hold this still as I can. This is a dog tag. I can't really see. Oh, trying to hold this still. I think that's his dog tag. Can you guys tell me if that's a dog tag? Looks like a dog tag, guys. Hello from Duluth, Minnesota. Beth, what's going on up there? Annie Oakley, not overdone. Yeah, I've got her on my list, actually. Little sure shot. Great story. Hey, Ron. When are you coming? Oh, hi from Ireland. Tracy, how's it going? Yeah, World War II dog tag, that's what I thought. So he was killed in the line. He was killed in, in, in duty. Wonder what, can somebody look up his story? Let me just see if I missed anything at his grave. I really would like to know. There's probably, there's records on most of these people. Thank you, Shanna, for the five bucks. Oh, where it was? Okay, here. All right, let me give you guys a shot. Somebody, maybe Deb, if Deb's watching, or whoever, you guys, Ancestry, if we can look up Anthony, the last name. Not sure how to pronounce that. Let me see if there's, there's no stones on the ground. And nothing back here. I'd love to know what happened. Like, was he European theater? Was he on the Pacific? What what happened? Look at all the pictures. Oh, look. these are amazing. These are amazing. Look at these pictures. The color, maybe retouched. 1863 to 1959, the year I was born. And 1873, 1937. So she passed much earlier. Just endless stories, guys. Timothy grew up in Southeast Connecticut. Yeah, I'm gonna be hitting that area. No, this is not Mount Carmel, but you would think it is with all these pictures. This is more of a Greek cemetery. 
I think we're just inside or just outside the border of Chicago. And I got to tell you, when I came here, I had no idea there were this many pictures. This is pretty good. Um, let's see. Tom says 305th was Chelveston, England, part of the 8th Air Force B-17s. Well, you have to go back. I can't go back. We, we don't have the date. We just have the year. But I'm sure somebody could find him. Hopefully. A lot of stories here, guys. O'Hare, O'Hara. Those little canisters, I think, are for candles. Those are, I believe, for candles. Because I saw some of them were, were melted. Aiden's heading to England in the fall, 2023. So you're gonna be coming through O'Hare. O'Hare's a decent airport. Yeah, it's a great airport. I was very impressed with LaGuardia. Remember when I did the Italian bride who died on the steps of the church? I think it's been 10 years since I've been in New York and I was blown away with LaGuardia. It is nice. Like it was pleasurable, guys. Vigilite candles, okay. Yes, Bonnie, that is correct but I don't really want to broadcast where I'm at. I'll put it in at the end. So if you know where I'm at, don't, you don't, um, we'll keep it on the low key. Another young woman, 1912 to 1931. Give you a close up. Boy, this is like going to Mount Carlo, huh guys? Yeah. Tommy the cat is here. Tommy, I sent you some emails today on a couple of stories. I'm pretty much set on the stories you suggested, but that tree, that one tree, I've got to find, I found out where the bike trail is or the walking trail that goes to it, but I really need a GPS position. Hey Beth, thanks for the five bucks. I am thinking that we might be able to contact the sister of that woman or was it the daughter i think it was the sister anyway there was i sent you a link of a tv news from three years ago they're reopening that case by the way just to find out the person who did it but i, I they they went to the tree now look at this i gotta tell you something this just jumps out at me boy the, the airplanes were right by o'hare airport very annoying. So this is Frank, he passed in 1978. Now, this Frank here looks very similar to a Frank that I'm gonna tell you about right now. It's kind of uncanny how much this Frank looks like. Thank you, Carrie, for the 10 bucks. A guy named Frank Schweiss. He was called the German. And Frank Schweiss was a hitman, probably the hitman of hitmen here at the Chicago Outfit. Really, really prolific killer. And they say that Frank, Frank Schweiss, the German, and Tony Spilatro, I'm yelling because there's a jet, jets are coming every 60 seconds now, say that they they were the ones who killed Marilyn Monroe, and there's a book on it. Now, we're not going to know, but there's a good chance that that hit was ordered out of Chicago. And the tie-in to Frank the German Schweiss is that his, there was a, a woman that he dated. Her name was uh, Eugenia. Her nickname was Becca. Eugenia Pappas, Greek, and of course, we're gonna see her grave. And Eugenia was 18 years old and she was just, she was in Greek town. Now he hung out in Greek town, you, you know, a German, right? Not in German town where Britain is, and we are tonight, but she met him there in Greek town. She was a manicurist there. I think it was 62, I can't remember. We'll see on her grave, but she, 
was going out with him and you know they were they were lovers and you know lovers talk and somehow the word got to Sam Giancana they say who was the boss at the time here in Chicago that Frank had slipped and told Becca that he and Tony Spilatro killed you, did you see uh, Harmon's episode me and Harmon went where Tony Spilatro was buried if you haven't seen it go to infamous crime locations channel anyway he uh, thanks Maureen for the five bucks he went there or he told her about it apparently and the word somehow got back to Sam Giancana and he said you know we're gonna have to uh, kill Eugenia Pappas 18 years old beautiful woman my third or fourth or fifth episode you can see I did a whole episode on it and she was found in the Chicago River shot in the heart floating in the river and of course we'll never know who did it but there's a guy I know oh my god here comes another jet it's brutal they're coming in lower and lower Hold on. we're going we're right by the chapel we're gonna, there's one picture I want to show you here so there's a guy on YouTube that I communicated with he's got a little channel his name's red Wemet, W-E-M-E-T-T-E, -E -T -T -E. and he was an undercover FBI guy back in the 50s, 60s. He, he's the guy that took down Frank. Like he had video cameras set up in his apartment in Old Town, Chicago. Frank was in there yapping, he got it all on tape, so he took Frank down. He took, he was big in family secrets. And also before that, he's the guy that took down uh, Silas Jane, what's his brother? Um, the guy that killed the Schuessler boys and Bobby Peterson, another episode I did. Anyway, go check his channel out, Red Wemet. I think it's, I don't know if it's still called Bedtime Stories, but this is, this guy tells, it's kind of like Frank Collada, you know, the, like from the mouth of the actual stories where it happened. So anyway, let's go to Becca's grave, whoops. But there's, I just noticed this, oh, where is it? There was some interesting stone here. There's so many. There's some bridal, hold on. There was one I really, oh my gosh. Oh, let me backtrack here. I don't want to miss, but there's one. Oh my God, I'm seeing like some really cool ones here. Here's a little boy. Oh, look at this picture, guys. Isn't that sad? How's the picture? Are we looking good? It looks like Jeep Girl's got some info. It's going by too fast. Looks like you've got some info. But let's go over here. The, if you go under the About tab, you can get all the contact info, including my Instagram. Under the About tab, go there it has the email faces forgotten today at gmail.com and that's where you can email me if you have suggestions although right now i'm not really taking suggestions that many man this is overwhelming this, there's just so many pictures here there was gosh i saw one i should have went right to it hold on here's looks like first communion picture Picture's good, good. Then you can see these. You'll be able to see these. You might be able to read this too. There was one picture. Oh, here's another child. Look at this. Look at that. Let me try to get it out of the glare. Look at that hat right out of the the 20s, yeah, he died in 27. Wow, oh wow, oh wow. But there was one picture I saw here, I really, look at this, how sad, knocked down. Somebody needs to come and pick this one up. Her picture's in an odd place, oh, you know what? Yeah, her picture's loose, hopefully somebody can fix this. 
I'll circle back and alert the cemetery. I'm sure they know about it because the guy's cutting the lawn here. Um, hold on, I want to find, there was something I saw here that was a girl. Oh, here's, oh my gosh, look at this one. Yeah, there's so many children. Oh, I found it, it's next to this one. But I want to look at this one first. Can't read it, maybe on the phone you can read it. Look at that mustache, 1923 it looks like. Hard to say, but um, I don't know. This one caught my eye from far away. Oh, it's a baseball, some kind of baseball player. Let's see here, hold on. So there's the inscription, 1911 to 1929. All right, and I'll give you a close up. Looks like he was a catcher. Thank you, Big Dan, for the 10 bucks. Whoops, sorry, I'm focusing on Dan. Look at that picture, guys. Isn't that cool? All right, what did Dan say? Dan was like, West Virginia, historian, 10 stories. Thanks, Dan. Yeah, send them in. All right, let's, let's, let's do a quick stop. Let me jump over here and get into this chapel. There's some guys out front, but I'm hoping there's nobody inside. Dan, the his, Dan, Dan, the historian man. Ten stories, boy, he's not fooling around. Is that Virginia or West Virginia? I got stories in Virginia. I got, gosh, guys, I have stories now, at least five to ten stories in every state. I don't know how I'm ever going to get there. All right, hang with me here. The planes, yeah, maybe they rerouted it. So check this out. This is, this is Greece, guys, right? With the blue. Let's take a look inside. Anybody in here? Yes, nobody's in. It's okay? All right, good. All right, we're good, man. Okay, you wanna buy some candles? We can buy some candles. Let's see what we got, these are a buck. Anybody wanna buy a candle for a buck? Three bucks for the bigger candles. Seven dollars for the monster candles. Char, ten, about, uh, two bucks, thank you. Hopefully the signal doesn't get hurt here. Let's see. Oh, look at some people have come in here to do the candles. Isn't that beautiful? So that guy outside, he is the caretaker. I was talking to him before. You guys want to take a, a look inside here? I do. I haven't gone in here yet. Oh, look at this. Wow. Is this beautiful? So quiet in here. 1919 Black Sox graves. You know what? I have the I have one of the graves I was gonna do on a live stream down on the south side. I've got that on my list, but the signal wasn't good that day, so I bailed. Big Dan, thanks for the 10 bucks. So it's West Virginia, okay. Jayhawkers. Check out. See, now, Ashley's advertising the Facebook page. I wouldn't go there. I would go to my Instagram page instead. Just kidding, Ashley. <laughs> but yeah, guys, check out my Instagram because in the next three weeks, I'm going to be posting short videos on there from some cool places on the East Coast, from Cape Cod up to Maine, down to Connecticut, Rhode Island. So look at this. There's the Last Supper. Right? Look at this piece. Isn't that beautiful? I love to zero in on some of the details like this. Look at this. 8H likes Instagram. 
I'm glad you're with us. Okay, let's, uh, Eugenia's grave is right out here. I can come back in here if you guys want me to, if you want to see something else. It's a little church pew. Very nice. All right, so this is her grave right here. Now, if you go, uh, and I'll put the link in when I get back and download this for Eugenia Becca Pappas. And yeah, it was 1962 when she was killed. This is like my fifth or sixth, like one of my earliest episodes. You can see it, it's pretty rough. See, there's the Greek flag. So I think her sister's still alive. Her sister is still uh, grappling with this horrible story. Can you imagine? Thanks, SG. So this is Becca's grave. Still unsolved murder, but Frank the German probably did it. And I think there are other family members over this way. All right, let's keep walking. There's some more stuff we can see. Yes, the Greeks do. They do love the gold trimming. $70 from Czar, thank you. That is very generous. Well, it's all going to a good cause. We got another grave that we're doing, another new one. Actually, from tonight's episode, we are doing someone's gravestone that is unmarked. You'll see that tonight. Frank Troost is already working on it. And by the way, Frank Troost is, uh, it's paid for. He is working on the, the marker for Joan Reinholtz. I think it was six or seven grand all in for the statue, the guy who saw the apparition of the Holy Mother. Now, I wonder if this is related to the Pappas's. I don't know, but that is some picture, guys. That is, that is some picture. 1989, Father Anthony passed away. They were born in 1918, 1921. Respectfully, Mother Dorothy passed in 07. Isn't that wonderful? Boy, I'm, I've got to come back here. I mean, look at this. If I go that way, it just keeps going. But I'm going to head to the center of the cemetery. There's some very large monuments and a pond that I want to see and show you guys. You haven't checked it out. Does anyone know where John Denver is buried? I sure don't. Now, here's one that catches my eye. A young woman. 1981 to 2006. Rebecca. Uh, you just wonder, you know, what happened? The oval pictures are coming back. Now they were big right for the Italians and and the Greeks and the Eastern Europeans, like Czech, Slavic, Albanian, Polish. But these days they're really making a a good showing for other denominations, other heritages are doing it. Here comes another jet. I don't know about John Denver, but I know he was not a good pilot. And I'll just leave it at that. Let's go this way. We're gonna go kind of the center of the cemetery. Yeah, he crashed. Uh, there was a plane he was flying called the Long EZ. It's like a mono wing, little experimental thing. Not really dangerous, really weird looking. I would never fly one, but if you get that out of coordination, you're just going to spin into the ground. That's what he did, into the ocean, actually. I believe he crashed in the ocean while he was fumbling, reaching for the fuel tank selector, the switch tanks, and he wasn't watching his rudders and aileron coordination and if you make some big mistakes in the air you're going to pay for it pretty badly well let's see what we got up here where is gypsy rose lee buried oh i've got that on my list i can't remember where but i've got that on my list hey mama lovify 
It's great to have you. Glad you made it. Glad you made it. Let's go this way. Let's see, should we go this way or should we go that way? Uh, hold on. What do you guys think? That way or that way? I think we might go this way because there's some big monuments that way. Jim Morrison is buried in England, I think, right? Jimi Hendrix? I think he was cremated. I can't remember because that's... Thank you, Kinda Soda Czar, 30 some bucks. Paris, yeah, 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 France, that's right, Edna, good job. That's, that's Jim Morrison, but what about Jimi Hendrix? I'm a big Jimi Hendrix fan. Paul Grimm is here. Just saw you there, Paul. I'll see you in comments. How you doing? Yes, Paris. Jim Morrison, man, he was a cool dude. Crazy though, he, he just went off the edge, right? Did you do all that cr crazy stuff like Motley Crue, like uh, Ozzy Osbourne on the stage? They were kind of like biting chicken heads off. No, I think Jim Morrison was just getting lewd, showing his you know what, getting arrested. But man, I love the doors. You guys like T-Rex? Oh no, here we're gonna start on, uh, let's not start on groups again. <laughs> Let's stay on course here. Edna's wearing her Hendrix t-shirt now. All right. So Hendrix is buried. Monterey? We got that. Now that's a grave I'll do, even if it's been done over and over. There are some, there are some graves that I'll do. Break on through to the other side. How about the watchtower? Yeah, he, uh, he was marvelous. How about, man, could that guy play the guitar? I think he's the best all ever. Now, my favorite guitarist, now here we go, was Gary Richrath from REO Speedwagon. He wasn't probably the best in the world, but, man, I love Gary Richrath. He kind of went down the tubes. Once he left REO, that was a mistake. Winter Wolf, I am in agreement with you. Jimmy is buried, not cremated. All right, thanks, Wallace. We'll have to put him, we'll have to, I don't know why he's not on my list. He should be. Let's just look at the Civil War thing here real quick. Now we're getting into the wind. Hopefully the wind is not too bad on the the cell phone mic is brutal, and I just didn't come prepared today. All right, so if I go into the wind, this should be better. Let's just go this way. How's the wind now? The wind is, all of a sudden, the wind came out of nowhere. There was no wind, and now it's like windy. Only in Chicago. You should do a story on Bobby Fuller. He fought the law. Who the heck is he? i would never heard of him. Thank you, Big Dan, again for 20 bucks. Headstones needed. Yeah, we're constantly doing headstones, but it's a year to two year process, unfortunately. And some of the cemeteries are not being, co I shouldn't say that. There's one cemetery that's just not being cooperative. It's almost like, who are you? How dare you? And just making it really tough on us. I'm not gonna say who, I don't wanna alienate them. But let me tell you, I am, after this is all said and done, yeah, it's much better now because I'm going straight into the wind. No, I'm not doing Kobe Bryant. They don't want anybody over by him, I don't think. Isn't his grave secret? You know whose grave I'd like to do is Princess Diana, but that's restricted too. Have you ever visited Hollywood Cemetery in Richmond? No. I don't even, I, I have some cemeteries, 
So there is a cemetery for geeks. Oh, that's funny. Oh, there's a cool mausoleum in the hill there, guys. Let's go look at that. Why is it so hot in the UK? What's going on over there? When's the best time to come to England? Okay, I need help here, you guys. So I may come next summer. Like I was saying, Scotland. Now, I may even go up to the Orkney Islands because I'm nuts and there's a grave there I really want to go do. And I will frickin' do it. And then Edinburgh, or Edinburgh, Liverpool, I think, it, what's, uh, Glasgow. And then down to London. Yeah, Vatican, no. Again, that's been done. Like, what can I add? I want to do stuff nobody's done. C.V. Ray Vaughan was cool, but again, his grave's been done over and over. You can go look it up on YouTube. Give me some ideas. Give me some original ideas. I've, I'll tell you, I've gotten some great suggestions from you guys. I'm very, very picky, but you would look good in a quilt. Yeah, I'm gonna wear a quilt if I go, and I'm gonna play the bagpipes. Did you guys like the bagpipes from the police officer when I did? There's a blue heron or a sandhill crane. There it goes gone once you look at them they're like oh i'm spotted now the wind is dying down again all right we don't want to go too far this way because now we're getting into the newer section it's where the people are but i want to check this hh holmes no that whole thing came out about digging him up and his mustache was still there that was pretty cool his grandson or something did a book on it and was behind getting him exhumed i love that I wish they'd bring Dillinger up. I'd love to see a skeleton. I'm so freaking morbid. We got a story that's almost too morbid to do, like the one I did yesterday or the day before on the girl whose body was stolen. But there's one that's even worse than that. Way worse. And I was talking to Deb. She was doing the research on it. Oh, look, the door's open. Let's check it out. And she didn't come. I said, is this too gross to do? but I'm gonna do it. <laughs> oh, we can see inside. All right, I can't get in, but you know what? I might be able to reach. You guys might, hold on a second. Let me see if this will, can I fit this through? Hold on, I'm gonna turn the gimbal off and then I'm gonna turn it back on once I get it in there. Okay, hold on. Patience, oh boy. There we go. Orientation back on. All right, if I drop the phone, this live stream will never end. That's about, okay. That's about as far as I can get. Oh, there is something there. Can you guys see that? Oh, it's a storage. That looks like a, oh, my arm is stuck. That looks, looks like a storage room. Hold on, I gotta do this again. Okay, well that was a waste. I think that was like a, uh, a water pump. Oh, you know what? This has got to be one of these community mausoleums, right? Here come the planes. Sorry about, hold on, getting my, yeah. So this is built into the hill. This has got to be one of these holding crypts that we see. That's why there's just stuff in there. There's no bodies in there. Yeah, they say no sledding. So, John, when you come here, no sledding, all right, buddy? I know you like to... Oh, wait. There's something cool up there. I love to see the vents. They didn't say no walking. Big old mound. Whoa, watch your head. All right, we're at the highest point of the cemetery here, guys. Here it is. Have you ever seen the movie The Dirty Dozen? Jim Brown? Throwing the hand grenades down the pipe. One after another. Boom, boom, boom. Germans down below. Go, 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 go. It's an air vent. 
probably give you a little view of the cemetery here. This is more of the newer section. And we're back in the wind again. All right. I'm going to face it this way. So the wind doesn't, it's not, it shouldn't be as bad on the mic. I didn't bring my earbuds today because that usually helps. All right, guys, who is going to tune in on my Instagram starting next week? Who's going to subscribe to my Instagram? Go to the about tab. All the info is there because I'm going to be posting lots of short vids. I'm going to be pulling over like, look at this, look at this. I'm talking 1600s, 1700s, the pilgrims. Whatever I see. I'm going to I'm going to video that. Nancy's already there. Most of you guys are probably on my Instagram already, which is good. Sandra is, Wendy is. Winter Wolf, get with it. Come on. It is worth it. It's free. And I give the heads up on stuff. Stuff you can't see anywhere except Facebook. Ashley gets previews. Facebook, our Facebook's really cool. I have poked in there a couple times. I'm not a Facebook guy. It's more for you guys. But a lot of cool photo sharing. Alice is a big contributor. One of our mods. Shout out to the mods. Our mods are awesome. Watching our back. Here comes another airplane. All right, guys. We could go back. We could go back to where the pictures are. Do you guys want to see a few more pictures? Actually, there's one grave up here. That's a little bit of a walk. That's a little, a girl. Paula says, not on Instagram or Facebook. Come on, join up. It's just a click. Cheryl Daggs is with us. Cheryl, you are going to love tonight's episode. It's right up your alley. Or do you like more the 1800s stuff? Do you like the 1920s? All right. Let's head this way. We'll go a little longer. We got, I got nowhere to be. There is a grave. Oh, well, yeah, it's right up here. Okay. So we're going to a grave that when I did the episode, when I did the episode on Becca Pappas, I actually videotaped this grave. It was a big part of my episode, but the audio just didn't turn out. You know, I had old equipment. And I had researched the grave while I was standing there and the, the mom, whoever the mother is of this girl, this young woman, poured her heart out. It was so heartbreaking. So when we go, it's right up ahead. I think you can Google it probably or find it on um, the family. And it's under the obituaries. Actually, it's under what's that thing? Legacy. Where do you leave all the comments? And you can find out all about her. And her mom just wrote some beautiful things. But it's kind of eerie too. Not eerie, but it's just really heartbreaking because her mom is talking to her. You know, I miss you and here's what we did today and also she's talking to her husband her father who passed away I believe not long after her I'm going by two this is two years ago I was here and it's right up here so if you guys can look this up anybody who wants to you can Find out. I don't remember how she died. Yeah, where well, there's something going on outside, a big party outside the cemetery. It's not me. So here it is, Arnold. So her name is Brooke Arnold, beloved daughter. Yeah, there's her father, Robert David, 1948 to 2019. And Brooke died in 06. Okay, there's the, the inscription. Okay, 
Yeah, this is it from what I remember. And there's a picture on the bench also. Here's another picture of her. And all I remember, like I said, is all I remember is reading. It's just there was um, the mom. I'm sure she's here a lot. Maybe not lately, though, just looking. Oh, gosh, darn it. Dawn, sorry, I don't like showing birth dates, and I can't edit this out, so I'm going to split away from that. All right, let's head back to the older parts. What was her age? I don't know. You have to do the math. I think she was in her 20s, early 30s. Just joined Facebook. John. Now I'm behind. I got to catch Ashley. She's kicking my butt. She's at, uh, Ashley, you're at, if, if you're here, you're at like almost 7,000. You're not that far ahead of me. I might catch you. All right, more pictures this way. This is a way. This is a way. She was beautiful. Lori, you're right. What's up, Andrew? How you doing? Andrew Duckworth, from where? Where are you from? Knock Knock says, I like the early 1900s, Little Rascals. We'll have to do a Little Rascal. You know who did a Little Rascal grave of the little, the chubby boy was with Docs. He did a good episode on one of those guys. Oh, there's some cool, guys, there's some cool graves over here. Cool looking, not cool graves. Cool, interesting. When I say cool, I mean interesting. Graves aren't cool. Let's see if we see, I'm always kind of looking for younger people, especially kids, I don't know why. Here's an interesting one. Looks like from the 20s. Maybe the 30s and 40s. Now, this looks like 1930s. Well, she was born in 1901, passed in 79, Mary C. And her husband passed 1946. 1893, he was older than her. Interesting. John's glad to be on board. Spanky, no, not Spanky. That's uh, he's chubby too, but the really chubby kid and the original. There were, there were a number of them. Go to Wittdocs, W H I T T D O C S, on YouTube, and it's from the older generation of the little rascals. This guy looks like we saw him already. I don't think so. We weren't here. Lisa's late. What are you doing late? Come on. That's all right. You're good. Lisa says, I was with my family at the cemetery this morning. Cool. Debbie from Missouri. Glad you made it. Can you put up my Instagram, Ashley? My link so people can join it. I don't, maybe you did already. I don't know. But I, if things are going so fast here. But I really want some people to join my Instagram because I'm going to be doing a lot with it in the next three weeks. Thanks, Kimberly. Oh, no, that's with Docs. Does anybody know my Instagram? Well, you can go to the About tab and get it. Oh, look at this picture. Oh, this is old, 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 old. Look at that, guys. You should do a special on Greek, Greek Orthodox burial traditions. That's a good idea. The Three Stooges. I'll bet they're out in California somewhere. The Blue Barrel, nothing. Nothing is said. Somebody had said that the Blue Barrel the top wouldn't come off, so there's no way there would be a body in there. And then I did talk to the cops, the detective, afterwards. And here's an update on the Blue Barrel. We don't think it's her, I guess unfortunately, because it would be nice to solve the case. 
but the barrel was filled with stuff like full and it wasn't water that said he told me that what they believe is that stacy peterson's body you know was in the big a bigger blue barrel with the removable top and what he told me was that the word on the street i shouldn't say on the street but the word among the the people the investigators if you will is that drew peterson was evidence you know evidence technician or evidence disposal he would dispose of all the bowling brook like especially guns guns that were confiscated and the way to get rid of the guns is you, they melt them down at a gazillion degrees so they think kind of like helen brock i did that episode on helen brock the candy lady they took her red Wimet told me he was he was part of all not part of the murder but he told me they put her and gary in the steel mills and she got disintegrated melted in the the, the, the cauldrons of, of molten steel but same way with stacy peterson they think that he took the barrel to the incinerator with her in it and vaporized her so if that's the case they're never they're never going to find her so i know they're looking in swamps and stuff but that really makes sense that he probably did that Twilight Purple Glow, what's going on? How much have I missed? Vicky said, you missed the whole thing. <laughs> We've been here over an hour. But we have some more pictures we can show you. We're going back in the, you know, when I look at these, I feel like I'm in a time machine. Look at those glasses. And you can see so much detail. Look at the pattern on her top. It looks like you know that's all handmade and if you look really carefully there looks like there's some beadwork here a necklace of some kind or that might have that might be part of the collar and then this is her husband now i don't see any dates here oh wait there are stones but they're kind of in a weird i think this is their stones and i'm kind of looking upside down now 1875 to 1937, so he was in his 50s, right? 1880 to 1926, so she died earlier. And then this one over here has been torn off or gone. Yes, if the photos could speak, you're so right. There are a couple of more here we can take a look at. The Headless Angel, it's pretty sad. And the wings got knocked off. And this one, the arm got knocked off. These are two beautiful. Of all the stories I've covered, one in herself asks, which is my favorite? Without doubt, the little guy that I did last month in South Dakota with the train where Jim Croce is singing my opener. The boy who waved to the brakeman every day and then he died and they buried him next to the train tracks and that was the real deal. Look at this picture. Look at the lace on her, her arms. Look at that design. Cheryl Dax, you, are you digging this? Look at that picture. Wow. Look at the detail. These images are really amazing. Let me see if I can find a couple more in this area. Yeah, there are some more. Now look at this. I've never seen this before. What is this? So there's the candle. Ah, candle goes in there, huh? It's all smushy. It's all smushy and mushy. I could hardly open that. Oh, there's a little child here. I feel like I'm at Mount Carmel, guys. 1922 to 1926. And the concert is starting next door here. Look at the detail on this porcelain. See this pink inlay? Look at this, it's beautiful. And there's a gold leaf on the outside. I love that, look at that. That's the first time I've ever seen 
a porcelain frame oval like that. That is amazing. A lot of missing pictures, sadly. What else we got here? Lots, oh, here's, a, looks like twins or brothers. Oh, so sad. You know they died of some disease. Could it have been typhoid, yellow fever? Smallpox, I mean, you can go, you name 10 or 20 diseases. Spanish flu. You can't read the dates. Oh, there's more here. More young, young ones. The Gilded Age, yeah. Carlita's Way, that's right. We did a story on the Gilded Age. Stanford White on Long Island. Upstate New York. No, it wasn't upstate New York. It was, uh, what do you call upstate New Island? I forget. 1911 to 1921. So this boy was around 10 when he died. August 28th to April. So he did not make it. He was nine years old when he died. Father Peter, 1876 to 1925. Look at the detail. Look at what he's wearing down here. Can you see that? Is that a watch? There's some type of chain. Isn't that neat? Look how, and by the way, again, see the signature? It's Dido. We see that at Mount Carmel. Whoever that artist is, photographer, he was the big guy. I gotta ask Frank Troost about Dido. Most of these pictures are by, I think it's Dido. Of course, long gone now. It's a great history though. Sailor suits for kids were popular. There's a children's section here. We're not anywhere near it. It's a really cool statue, but it's too far to walk. All in their Sunday best, Pam, you're right. All in their Sunday best. Here's another boy, 1918 to 1938, 20 years old, right? Thereabouts. Not such a clear picture, but probably one of his only pictures did not even make it to the 20s. Now here ahead is a bunch of tiny little crosses and they're all kind of the same, just scattered. Let's take a look, see if we find anything interesting here. Yes, knock knock, it was called Our Gang. If you're talking about the little rascals. Look at all of these little, I think this was the old, this has to be the old children's section, guys. Just piecing together, 1916 to 1917, right? All these little crosses. And then of course, this one with the picture on it as a giveaway. Ah, it's terrible. Yeah, look at this. These are all, this is the area of little ones from the olden days. A lot of pictures here. The old infant section there, like I said, there's another infant section in this, a big part of the cemetery, but it's on the other side. And it's newer. That was probably the older. Eugenia was a very popular name. This is Peter. He died on the year I was born, 1901 to 1959. Look how clear these pictures are. It's unbelievable. Oh, look at a we'll look under this tree here. Now here's, here's one that is the immigrants. 
this just screams out that they just came here and look at the dates 1862 and respectively the husband 1865 yeah these pictures you know were taken when they came and i think this is greek when they came from maybe athens who knows maybe the island crete what's the island that uh, onassis owns they probably wouldn't be from there but they you know up in the it could be from anywhere can you imagine they came on a boat they came on the boat across the Atlantic. What what did they experience? And they worked hard and they had kids and those kids are, you know, great, great, great grandkids are still here, maybe even in Chicago. It's crazy to think about, isn't it? All right, guys, it is time to roll. It is time to roll out of here. Thanks for coming with me Sunday. I hope to see you tonight. Yeah, with Britain, we're on the north side of Chicago, Roaring Twenties, Ruth Anna Wanderer and the Ragged Stranger murder. And I'm gonna be heading out of here. I still got episodes in the, in the queue for the next couple of weeks, but I'll be overlapping with East Coast stuff that I'm gonna be starting mid next week. So get on my Instagram if you can. And uh, thanks for hanging out. It's been great, uh, great seeing you guys, all right? Have a safe Sunday. Hopefully I see many of you tonight. And for the rest, have a great week this coming week.